today's video, I want to show you how you can create an HTML form and submit it to a SharePoint list. Uh, and if you think I'm going to use CSUM, JSON, and all those things, no, I want to use Flow. If you are already familiar with Flow, you're more than welcome to skip this video. If you are not, it's a nice video, well worth watching. Let's get into it. So this is what we are trying to do. I want to have a very simple HTML form with three fields. One of them is going to be title, the other one is going to be first name, and then the last name. And when the user clicks submit, this form should send the information to a list in a SharePoint online website. And for this, I'm going to use Flow. But what is Flow? Flow is Microsoft modern workflow solution. Actually, there is BizTalk Engine backstage, and Microsoft is giving it to us in two different packages. One is Flow, and the other one is your Logic Apps. So Logic Apps is pre pretty much the big brother, while Flow is somehow a simplified version of workflow solution that comes completely outside of SharePoint. In this video, I don't want to get into workflow design and things like that. But in this video, I want to show you how you can actually use Flow as a connector from SharePoint to the outside world. Let's see how Flow looks like and see what you want to do with this. Although the name suggests that it should be something like a workflow, it more looks like a piping system to me. It can be quite complex and it can connect almost anything to anything, as long as it is exposed to Microsoft Azure Cloud. What we are going to do in this video, we want to create a flow that can get a JSON through a web API and adds it to the SharePoint list. If I can do this and test it with Postman, it means any application or any solution that can simply call this web API can actually send the information from any environment to SharePoint. And in this example, we are creating a simple HTML form with the fields. And when the user pushes the submit button, it actually uses a jQuery Ajax call to this web API and sends information through Flow to SharePoint. And finally, we want to test the solution. Let's go to SharePoint and see how it works. This is the SharePoint list that I created inside SharePoint and it has a title, first name, and last name. Of course, I can add more columns just for the sake of this demo. I'm using the title and two more fields that are both uh, simple text fields. Now, to add flow to work with this, if you see the top of the list in the modern website, there is a link called flow. And if I click on it, I can always go to create a flow or I can see the flows that I've already created. At the moment, I click on Create Flow, and it takes me to the interface to create a new flow. There are different templates already defined here. These flow templates can vary from simply creating an event receiver on a SharePoint list item. So when the list item is added, it sends an email, maybe an approval process, request manager approval, and lots of other stuff. I really don't want to do any one of these complex things. And for the sake of this tutorial, I want to start from creating a blank flow from scratch. So let's scroll down and see your flows. Now, as you can see here, I can click on Explore Templates. Here there are my flows that this list is empty at the moment. But if I click on New, I can create a flow from blank template, which this is what I will do. I say create from blank. So this is absolutely nothing in this flow at the moment. The first thing that I want to create, I want to create a trigger. So something should initiate this workflow. So for that, I want to create a request. So basically, when an HTTP request is received, this is exactly what I want. So I just click on it. So this is the HTTP request that receives the request. At the moment, there is no URL, but the moment that you click on save, it generates the URL. This is the first step of my flow. So 
the flow is activated when the HTTP request is received, and this request is coming from a web form. The web form that I have should create a JSON request that this service receives. I need to provide the schema, but most of the time we don't have the schema. Instead, we have something like this that has the JSON sample data, title, first name, and last name. So if I can get this sample data load and I paste it here, Flow has the capability to generate the schema out of the file that I provide. By the way, keep that in mind. When you are creating the request, it has to be application slash JSON that I will get into it when we make the call. So we created our request. As I told you, once I save it, it should give me the URL. Now, if I click on save, it gives me the error because this flow just has a trigger. It doesn't do anything. And as a result, it doesn't let you save it. So let's add a next step, which is going to be our action. So I add SharePoint. And when I add SharePoint and I click on it, you see there are lots of options and lots of things that you can do. You may want to pause this video if you're following me and go to the list of things that you can do with SharePoint. And probably it's going to give you a sleepless night right after you watch this video to explore these items. I want to create a SharePoint item and I can click on this drop down and it gives me a good list of site collections that I have in the SharePoint list or you can add a custom value which gives you the chance to add a raw URL here and right after that I can select the list that I can actually enter the data. So this is my site and this is the list. HTML forum data is the name of the list that I have here. So I select this and that's it. As soon as I add it, it says, okay, now here are the fields. Where do you want me to get the information from? And that information should come actually from the HTTP request that received those values in JSON format, if you remember. The good thing is that you don't need to do any kind of coding. If I click on title, now in the list of the available fields under HTTP request for the title, I can add title. For the first name, I can add first name. Same way for the last name, I can add last name. There is a lot more you can do if you click on expressions. There are lots of functions that you can use. You can make changes, uppercase, lowercase, concatenate, do whatever you want. But this is out of the scope of this video. At the moment, I just want to get the form and simply submit it. So I click on save. And as soon as I click save, now my HTTP has created a URL that I can use it to make the call to this web service. So, so far we created a flow that can get a JSON through a web API and add it to SharePoint list. We haven't tested it yet, so let's open Postman and test it. Okay, here is Postman. If I go back to flow and I can copy this URL and paste it inside Postman. I'm good with this one. The method is not going to be get. The method is post because I'm posting some data. Inside headers, I need to specify content type and the value is going to be application slash JSON. We're good with this one. And now the body of this message, I want to put the raw message here and I copy the JSON file that we have and I put this JSON request here and everything should be good. Let me click send and see if we can track that inside SharePoint. And you see the record is added here. Let's do another one. I say 
Ali and I say sweat and I click on save and again we go back to SharePoint and wait for the flow to do the job as you can see everything works here and even if I go back to the flow I can actually see the history of the execution and it shows me there are two successful execution and if I click on any one of them it actually shows me what steps have been followed if you know how to create a web form it's easy from now on I don't need to watch this video you can skip and enjoy playing with the flow features otherwise now let's get back to Visual Studio and create an HTML page that has everything inside it now inside Visual Studio I have already created this form it's not even a form component I just created three input elements one of them is going to be title first name last name you can call it whatever you want and just a simple button that I call it submit and finally I created an input box that shows me the execution result of this by default it shows me the value empty and when the job is done it should show me a success or failure now if I scroll up to this page you will see that it is just a simple page with an Ajax call so inside this initialization of the page I'm just adding the click function to the button that I created and there is a variable called form data and for every single one of them I get a title and I get the value of the title control for the first name I get the first name of the value control and last name the same way and finally there's an Ajax call that the first parameter is going to be content type as we decided it's going to be application slash JSON type is going to be post and the URL is the URL that I need to take it from flow I click on edit and if I expand it it shows me the URL copy and I need to paste it here I just save it and finally it uses stringify function to uh, convert a JavaScript object to a string that can be actually used in the post method and finally for the success I defined a function that shows me success for the error it shows me failed and I sincerely wish it doesn't give me fail now I open the file in the browser and for the title I call it uh, test title for example for the first name I call it Ali Reza 1 last name Ali Obadi 1 and I click on submit and I expect to see the answer here it shows me success and if I go back to my SharePoint you will see the value here this was a very simple sample of what you can do with Microsoft Flow there are lots of other things that you can do including connecting to external services from SharePoint to Facebook to CRM to Twitter just you name it flow and the big brother logic apps is there to give you connectivity and any kind of workflow in between no matter how complex they are so if you'd like to see more of this please let me know in the comments below thank you for watching and see you in the next video